what do you need to get from one of those trucks to this night runner Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the new Element Enduro Night Runner. Now this new Element Enduro Night Runner is their most scale looking truck to date. Uh, it's a collaboration between Night Customs and Element RC. It's a very nice looking rig and as you can see it's a very similar design to a certain 1-1 truck. Now the Night Runner is a rig that runs a front IFS suspension and it also runs a 1.55 wheel and tire setup. The base of the rig is sitting on your all familiar Element Enduro chassis stretched to a 12.8 wheelbase. Let's take a look at all the panels of the box. In the front here you've got this nice looking shot of the Night Runner. Right here on this panel, you see some features of the rig. Basically goes over uh, some of the scale parts like the DeMello front bumper, rear bumper, the rooftop tent, and these officially licensed general grabbers. Let's turn it around and look at the other panel. Some of the chassis features of the truck. Here we see the uh, steering rack for the IFS suspension, steering blocks, the nice element enduro shocks. I think these are the one of the best shocks out there for these rigs. Of course, here more about the IFS, the five slot reading motor, pretty smooth for a stock motor, and their SC480X ESC. Let's take a look at the rear of the box. Uh, just another shot of the Night Runner. And of course, now we take a look at the bottom. I think actually we've looked at this before. Sides. So the side panels, just another shot of the Night Runner. The other panel, side panel, another shot of the Night Runner. And as we all know by now, with the Element Enduro series, the outside of the box is not what counts, it's actually what's inside the box. So uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Now that's looking like a beauty. Let's just lay this all out and we'll go over everything. All right, before you take a closer look at the rig, Let's take a quick look at what's inside the box. All right, like all the other Element Enduro boxes, the inside of this Night Rounder box is a hanger, uh, probably in theme with their Area 51 theme. So this is another interesting diorama setup. I love how they do these diorama setups with their box. You even have instructions on how to properly set up the diorama box. So definitely one of the nicer features of the Element Enduro series. Right there. So really cool. That being said, I will open up that box later and set it up. But for right now, we're going to look at the rest of the truck 
inside an ecto box. One thing I want to point out before we move on, this bag of hardware was taped to the inside of the box. Make sure you do not miss that when you get your Night Runner. All right, so let's go over what was included with this Night Runner RTR. First thing off, if you own any element Duros, you'll be already familiar with this radio, EXP-130. Uh, pretty decent for an RTR radio. Works pretty well. It's a three channel radio, so it's got a third channel right here as well. Alright. Once again, this hardware was taped to the inside of the box. Make sure you don't forget that. So, check the box. You've got your decals and instructions right here. Um, I always love the element decals. They've got a lot of fun stuff on their decal sheet. So, a lot of customizations that you can make to make this night runner your own. You've got a bag of parts. Now, looking at this, this is the rooftop tent. So, they come with, with the parts for the rooftop tent. You have to assemble these. And they don't come attached to the trucks already, but they have the parts for you to do so. You also notice that they have the newer Delrin pivot balls. So they've upgraded their pivot balls for their rod ends, and these are the Delrin ones. They're white. Now, I did mention that this is an IFS rig, so it's got an IFS front suspension, but they do provide a solid axle housing for that front, but you still will need to buy the universal axles for the front. But you can reuse the ring and pinion. The ring and pinion are the same. And as you can see here, this is the overdrive gear. Uh, all the element enduro chassis have the Stealth X transmission with the capability for a 12% uh, overdrive. They put the 6% in out of the box, but you can change it to the 12% or 11 point whatever, but rounding it up, it's 12%. And that's pretty much for the accessories. Now let's move on to the truck. All right, let's take a look at what this Night Runner is all about. Um, basically, Everything underneath this body should pretty much be available already. Um, should be pretty similar to the past Enduros. Uh, the newest thing being the body setup as well as these Irvine wheels right here. Uh, these Irvine wheels, stock wheels, are really nice. And these actually might be the first stock wheels I would leave on the truck. Uh, usually the wheels are the first thing I would replace, but... I'm really liking or digging this setup right here. Uh, this might be my first 1.55 wheel setup that I'll keep. But, I mean, the General Grabbers, they, they do okay. Um, of course, my favorite compound are the Proline uh, series of tires in their G8 compound. I love those tires, but they don't really have uh, 1.55 tires I like. I think they only have a Super Swamper. Um, but... You know, if they could just come out with some more 1.55 tires, that would be nice. But overall, these General Grabbers, they look really nice. I like I like them. They've got a nice scale look. Uh, like I said, they don't do too bad. But these wheels are fantastic. I really, really like the look of these wheels. So I'll probably try running with these wheels and just kind of run it just as is. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this body a little bit closer. All right, you can see it's got the DeMello front bumper, right? It's, uh, let me take this zip tie stuff off. The shackles that keep it tied to the box. You can see here uh, the IFS setup from Element. Um, so this should be pretty familiar by now. It's about a year old now. 
it's been out about a year so uh, quite a few rigs have the IFS on, on there now. The Trail Runner came with IFS setup. Um, it's a different challenge. I mean, I like driving it. It's, you know, my Sendero is really, really capable. And my tra Trail Walker actually runs an IFS setup with Class 1 1.9 tires. And it's just, it's just a different experience. And it's, I would say it's kind of like driving a solid axle uh, four-link suspension versus a leaf spring suspension kind of in that manner the IFS front is definitely a different challenge and gives you a different driving experience so fun in its own way you can see the side of the rig so you can see the lines are really really close to the one one it's based off of it's the rear Looks like oh, there we go. Some magnifold magnaflow exhaust right there. I don't know if you can see that. So let's so we know the body is something new. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this chassis entails and what it makes it different from the other element enduro chassis. Alright. Once again, just taking a look at the body. The body and cab are actually two separate pieces, so there is a, I guess, a potential for running cab only, which would be kind of different. So a crew cab only with a different bed? I don't know. But definitely the potential here to run the cab only, so kind of nice that they made it two separate pieces. I like that. Gives you some options. Uh, molded mirrors. Right here, windshield wipers, molded front grille, and here, these lights are decaled up on the outside, but if you notice on the inside, they're not painted, and there's a reason for that. Uh, Night Customs has provided 3D printed files for you to kind of completely scale out this rig, uh, as far as an interior, light buckets, a, a grill, um, some things for the roof or the expedition rack and they've also actually got a different TRD skid for here and they've also got a part to raise the IFS up a little bit higher for smaller size tires it'll raise this up a little higher and it'll improve the angle of this front skid here They've also got a part that kind of covers this whole area and just kind of smooths it all out as well as this area right here. So I'll put a link to those Night Customs files in the description of the video and you can kind of take a look at what Night Customs has available for it. But other than that, let's take a look at this chassis. So as you can see, it is your standard element enduro chassis. Uh, with the IFS front and the only other difference is it uses the links to extend the wheelbase to 12.8. I can see here their Stealth X transmission, uh, very superb transmission with their five slot 16 turn Reedy motor and their Reedy ESC. And it also does come with a longer battery tray, but out of the box, it uses the shorty battery tray. Uh, for me, it's perfect because I use 3S shorty packs. So they fit perfectly right in there. I'll put a link to the batteries I use in the description below as well. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as the chassis goes. So very, very familiar chassis uh, underneath. I would say probably the only thing on this chassis that we haven't seen before in previous Element Enduros 
are the Delrin pivot balls. Um, everything else we've pretty much seen before. Uh, uh, they're already available, um, except for the cosmetic parts like the bumpers and the wheels right here. But aside from that, um, everything is already available or previously available before this night running came out, uh, except for the Delrin pivot balls. And that's the only mechanical part that I can see that is actually new on this rig. So, and that's uh, kind of interesting how they've kind of reconfigured all the parts that they already have and created a new truck out of it, which is kind of their MO. But I mean, as far as this release goes, it's, it's okay. I mean, they've created a nice package out of it and I really like it. It's, I like the direction that this went, which is more scale. I have my element, other element in drills to kind of tackle harder lines, but it's nice to see uh, them doing some of more, uh, some more of the scale side. Uh, one thing that I wish that they did was they, I wish they would have kind of lengthened these rock sliders a little bit longer to match the cab. Uh, you can see these are kind of holdovers from the trail runner. So they're a little bit shorter. Uh, would have been nice for it to kind of properly fill this length right here. So we'll see if Night Customs actually has a part for that. I didn't check. Maybe they do. Um, but anyway, that's the Element Night Runner in a nutshell. So here's the big question. Let's say you've already got one of the Element rigs, whether it be the Element Enduro Sendero or the Element Trail Runner or the Element Trail Walker. What do you need to get from one of those trucks to this Night Runner? I'll put a link to all the parts in the video description below to kind of show you what parts you need to go from an Element Enduro rig uh, of another variety to the Element Enduro Night Runner. Now the first thing you'll obviously need to go from one of the other Element Enduro chassis to the Element Enduro Night Runner is the body setup. Element does sell the complete clear body setup that comes with all the skill details that are attached to the body like the mirrors, the windshield wipers, the snorkel that isn't attached to the rig currently, um, and the door handles. So that and the grill. So that comes as a complete body setup, a clear body setup. They do have that uh, available now. Um, but there are other things that you'll need. You'll also need to buy the front and rear bumper setup. So the front and rear bumper comes separately. You'll need the Trail Runner rock sliders right here. That's also a separate piece you'll need. You also need to buy the rooftop tent expedition rack in the rear bed separately as well. So all those things together are pretty much what you need as far as the cosmetics go. So once again, you need the complete clear body setup that comes with the mirrors, the windshield wipers, the door handles, and the snorkel. You need the front and rear bumper package. You need the trail runner rock sliders, and you need the rooftop tent setup in the rear. And that will take care of the body. As far as the chassis goes, if you've got a Sendero or a trail walker, you will need an IFS front setup. So you'll need this package here. I don't have it in the box. I've already taken the box out, but you'll need the IFS setup right here. Uh, so you will need to get that. If you've already got a trail runner, you're already all set as far as that goes. You'll also need the 12.8 inch wheelbase conversion links. So Element does provide uh, this part here, it's got the rear four links for converting your chassis to a 12.8 inch wheelbase as well as a longer insert for the rear drive shaft. Uh, that is one way you can get to a 12.8 inch wheelbase. The other way to get to a 12.8 inch wheelbase would be to get the trailing arms, arm setup from the Element Ecto or Gatekeeper, but you will also have to use the rock sliders that that trailing arm setup uses in order to use those trailing arms. But either this or the trailing arm setup will give you give you the 12.8 inch, uh, inch wheelbase and that will get you to the correct wheelbase that you need to run this Night Runner body. 
So that's pretty much it for this unboxing of this new Element Enduro Night Runner setup. Uh, definitely excited about where this thing is going to go. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep this pretty much close to the way it is now, but I am going to scale this whole rig out and make it like a scale trail running rig. Um, I've got my other Element Enduros for hard lines, but this one is definitely going to be one of those where I just kind of enjoy uh, trailing and kind of looking the way that the truck moves over the terrain. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future updates on my Element Enduro Night Runner upgrade series. Thanks for watching.